The entire human race is one family that belongs to its creator. It is therefore the responsibility of every individual to establish peace and prosperity in this world. However, this responsibility cannot be discharged unless virtuous people who uphold noble values unite together and motivate people to form a clean, cultured and healthy society. We believe that this responsibility becomes even more critical when one claims to be a Muslim and claims to have true devotion and belief in the oneness of Almighty Allah. Since Islam means the negation of all notions that divide human society and strives for the establishment of universal brotherhood, peace, justice, an equality for all. It is therefore imperative for mankind to abolish all the divisive barriers that create discrimination between human beings and make efforts to bring them together into one stream to connect with the Almighty who is one and the only one. The same efforts were made by all prophets right from Adam, peace be upon him, the very first human being and first prophet of Allah till the last prophet Muhammad peace and blessings be upon him they devoted their entire life to dispel the darkness of ignorance and enlightened the world with wisdom to connect to Almighty Allah by seeking peace universal brotherhood and justice for human civilization it is the guided paths of these divine sages that hold the secret to a successful life in order to call upon people to follow the path shown by these enlightened souls, Jamaat-e Islami laid its foundation on 26th August 1941 with the sole objective of spreading the divine guidance and urge people to rise above the boundaries of clan, tribe, caste, creed, color and race and draw them closer to the one and only Almighty Allah to the creator of this universe whose devotion and worship leads to eternal salvation and sets us free from the shackles of servitude of all forms. This call was to invite people to come closer to the Almighty who created the universe for us and inundated its every nook and corner with myriad resources and a bounty of flora and fauna at our disposal. To realize the truth and provide guidance at every sphere of human life, messengers and prophets descended time and again in every region of this world to reveal heavenly books so that we do not deviate from the guided path. O oh mankind indeed, we have created you from a single pair of a male and female and made you peoples and tribes that you may know one another. Indeed, the most noble of you in the sight of Allah is the most righteous of you and Allah has full knowledge and is well acquainted with all things. The call to unite all humanity without any discrimination is the teaching of the Holy Quran that was revealed by the creator of this universe to the last prophet Muhammad. Peace be upon him. Jamaat was established and made a humble beginning with merely 72 members. Jamaat pledged to abide by the noble teachings of the Holy Quran, which guides mankind in every sphere of life. Maulana Mududi, where they are connected, they have said that Islam is for the purpose of the world, for 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 the world, ضروری ہے کہ آدمی تنہا کوشش نہ کرے مل جل کر کوشش کرے اس کے لیے جماعت ہونی چاہیے یہ ان کا بڑا کنٹریبیوشن ہے اس کے تحت جماعت اسلامی وجود میں آئے It was a historical moment for Jamaat to come into existence as its inception in undivided India can be attributed to the call of the great Islamic scholar 
of the 20th century, Maulana Syed Abul Ala Maududi. He inspired the dedicated volunteers of Jamaat across the country to take a pledge for spreading the peaceful message of Islam to every nook and corner. The volunteers decided unanimously to choose Maulana Syed Abul Ala Maududi as the president of Jamaat and under his able leadership, they realized their duty and took it up as their primal responsibility to carry forward the uphill task of reaching out to every strata of the society with the beautiful message of Islam. At that time, Hindustan, Pakistan, Bangladesh, everyone was one. The freedom of Hindustan was not given to us, and Hindustan was not given to us. In 1947, Jamaat Islami came into existence, the people of India were living in precarious times under British imperialism. Brutal policies of the British government caused great consternation and made the road to freedom difficult and challenging. But worst of all, the partition of the country had begun knocking the doors of India's history with a terrible tragedy about to unfold. यहाँ जो जमाते काम कर रही थी एक तो जिसमें मुसलमान शामिल थे एक तो कांग्रेस थी वो काम कर रही थी और सेकुलरिज्म के लिए और मुल्क का नक्शा नक्शा आइंदा क्या होगा इस पर डिस्कशन कर रही थी दूसरे मुस्लिम लीग थी इसमें मुसलमान शामिल थे वो पाकिस्तान की डिमांड कर रहे थे कुछ और लोग भी थे जो समाजी इसलाह के कामों में लगे हुए थे लेकिन मौलाना मौदूदी ने यह बात कही कि भाई अल्लाह का दीन तो ये पूरी जिंदगी के लिए है the nation was on the brink of being partitioned amidst a chaotic political situation. People were being divided into small groups by a plethora of opposing ideologies. The nation was reeling under huge crisis and despair with little hope or respite. At that point of time, the country needed the same set of pioneers to inspire them to break the shackles of caste and creed and unite them to bow down before the one and only Allah for peace and universal brotherhood. So, Jamaat ne us mokke par musalmanon ki dharas bandai, ye sab se ahem kaam kiya. Unhe is mulk mein rehne ka, jeene ka, aur apni identity ke saath rehne ka, hausla unke andar paida kiya. Jamaat had hardly begun its journey with steadfast dedication to spread this peaceful doctrine to surrender oneself before the one and only one God when the country witnessed its most tragic event, namely the partition of India. The saga of bloodshed still looms large before the eyes that witnessed the terrible catastrophe. The division of the country was not merely geographical, but it created an emotional scar that placed a chasm between the millions of hearts which still lingers on to this day. This calamity split the nation into two parts and along with it also tore apart those who collectively dreamt and made it their mission to unite humanity into universal brotherhood and connect with the creator of the universe. हम तो कभी ये नहीं समझते थे कि वो इस तरीके से हमसे जुदा हो जाएंगे कि हमसे और उनसे किसी किस्म का कोई राता और तल्लो बाकी नहीं रहेगा। The country was finally divided with a morbid border erected between them, and it forced people to become strangers to each other in spite of having lived together for ages. The newly constituted Jamaat-e-Islami and its enthusiastic volunteers who remained in India were confronted with a burning question on how to salvage the country with its people completely consumed by malice and hatred. How to eradicate the inferiority complex, utter perplexity and animosity that had penetrated deep into their hearts. They strongly believe that it is only the peaceful and life-giving message of Islam that can uproot the despair and agony born out of partition. They were sure of the fact that unity 
development and prosperity for the country can be achieved successfully only if the Muslims of this country set an example by adhering themselves to the tenets of Islam and join hands with its people instead of parting ways. Jamaat Islami is kaam ke liye wajood milai gai hai ki nidam e rahmat siyasat mein bhi, nidam e rahmat maishat mein bhi, nidam e rahmat maasharat mein bhi, nidam e rahmat ibadat mein bhi aur nidam e rahmat dosti aur mohabbat mein bhi aur dushmani aur adawat mein bhi. They knew this was not an easy task and is full of threatening challenges. The partition had infused the nation with anger and had scarred the collective psyche of its people. A large number of families were yet to come to terms with the tragedy. Despite all these odds, the volunteers of Jamaat, with true concern for humanity, took the extraordinary decision to continue their work for the noble cause in their own country, India. Jamaat-e Islami Hind held its first formal convention between 16th to the 18th of April 1948 in the city of Allahabad in Uttar Pradesh, where 240 members of Jamaat decided unanimously to select the renowned Islamic scholar of India, Maulana Abul Lais Islahi Nadvi, as their first Amir or President. <laughs> Jamaat Islami ne apni policy aur program bilkul alag banaya. Uska taluk Pakistan se ya kisi dusri tanzim se nahi hai. In order to achieve an ideal society with peace, prosperity, justice and equality, it was imperative to bring about a change in the thoughts and deeds of people. The common ground for unity would be improved communication and good conduct. In view of the social diversity of India, Jamaat-e Islami Hind decided to work for the community and the nation on the premise of universal brotherhood of Islam. For Jamaat, universal brotherhood means to carry forward the message of humanity and create an ideal society by eradicating all discrimination within societies across the globe and more importantly within the people of this country. By accepting all mankind as one family, one can not only create a healthy atmosphere of love and brotherhood, but can also save the world from the evils of atrocities, injustice, exploitation and hatred. By adhering to the Islamic concept of universal brotherhood, Jamaat-e Islami Hind not only establishes interaction with the believers of other faiths, but also carries on its responsibility to present Islam and its tenets as the most favored and meticulous guiding force for practical life. It also endorses its staunch belief that a civilized society is not possible unless humankind treads on the guided path of peace and love and surrenders to the will of God. To spread the peaceful message of Islam far and wide, Jamaat-e-Islami Hind undertook every possible effort and accepted it as a foremost responsibility to help and support the needy and the helpless. Be it normal days or times of calamity, be it a threat to life or a loss of property, Jamaat-e-Islami Hind is all active everywhere in every situation. Be it flood, famine, fire, natural disaster or rehabilitating the victims of communal riots, jamaat e islami Hind is prompt and selfless and eager to extend its support and resources during these times of crisis. jamaat e islami Hind does not belong to any particular class community or sect, but it is a fearless and impartial voice that calls upon people to the Divine Creator. It however does extend the necessary support to Muslims to help them and solve their problems. 
یہ رفاہی کام میں یا تعلیمی کام میں مذہبی کوئی ڈفرینشیشن نہیں کرتا ہم Some of the core issues that Jamaat-e-Islami Hind addresses regarding Muslims is their education, their unemployment, their social challenges and some of the prevailing un-Islamic practices and rituals that have crept within the community. It would be futile to bring about any real change without addressing these challenges within the Muslim community. Jamaat-e-Islami Hind never steps back from its responsibility to find solutions for the problems of the Muslim community. In this world, those who live in this world, those who are human, they are all the people of God. So, Islam treats everyone with the same. With its distinct image within the community of being honest and fair, Jamaat-e-Islami Hind has been instrumental in establishing a connecting bridge between various Muslim organizations. Be it the Muslim Personal Law Board or the Muslim Majlis-e Mushawarat or some other important organization of Muslims, active collaboration and cooperation is an integral part of Jamaat-e-Islami Hind. With its logical, lucid and rational literature, Jamaat-e-Islami Hind continues to connect Muslims with the true and mainstream Islam. Besides introducing the common people with the basic tenets of Islam, Jamaat has been proactive in peacekeeping, protecting human rights in the country and providing judicial support to victims. Jamaat strongly believes in extending support and working in tandem with civil society and organizations with similar objectives. Our faith, our faith, our faith, our faith, دین یہ تھوپنا یہ اسلام کے تقاضوں کے بھی خلاف ہے بی ات دی سینٹرل گورنمنٹ اور دی اسٹیٹ گورنمنٹ جماعت اپریشیٹس اینڈ سپورٹس دی پالیسیز دیٹ انشور ویلفیئر فار دی کنٹری اینڈ بینیفٹس ملینز اف اٹس سٹیزنز ایٹ دی سیم ٹائم اٹ از دی پالیسی اف جماعت ٹو بی کریٹیکل اینڈ اپوز دی اینٹی پیپلز کیمز اف دی گورنمنٹس Jamaat firmly believes that the role of women is equally important in the making of an ideal society. Towards this belief, Jamaat took the initiative to involve common women in its programs. They are not merely volunteers but have been empowered with higher ranks in various committees of guidance and decision making. Working with various departments, the female volunteers carry out their responsibilities efficiently. Jamaat Islami Hind has been working with the first role and the women's importance and has been working with them and has been working with them. Along with common women, Jamaat has established GIO, that is Girls Islamic Organization, at the state level. For many decades, GIO has been active in catering to the girls students of colleges and madrasas with social awareness programs, skill development training and inculcating the true values of Islam in order to make them aware and accountable towards the nation. A large number of Muslim and non-Muslim students are availing the facilities of GIO. In order to present Islam before the world as a catalyst for leading an exemplary life, Jamaat realizes the role of youth and their potential in building up an ideal society for nation building. That is why Jamaat focuses on the upbringing of youth in coherence with Islamic values. تو یہ جو تربیت کا کانسیپٹ اللہ اس کے رسول نے دیا ہے اور جماعت اسلامی نے اس کو ایڈاپٹ کیا ہے یہ بہت اہم ہے اور ہم اس کو لے کے چل رہے To make it more relevant Jamaat has established SIO, Students Islamic Organization, a platform for the students of schools, colleges and madrasas. At the moment, SIO is one of the largest student organizations of the country. With thousands of volunteers and millions of supporters, SIO has been instrumental in bringing about character development of the youth and has worked on the issues of their concern for the last 30 years. 
जिस आदर्श के लिए जमात ने नौजवानों को युवाओं को तैयार किया है वो कोई सांप्रदायिक आदर्श नहीं है वो कोई जातीय आदर्श नहीं है उसका ताल्लुक किसी पर्टिकुलर सांप्रदाय से किसी पर्टिकुलर जात से या किसी पर्टिकुलर सेक्शन ऑफ सोसाइटी से नहीं है बल्कि सारी मानवता के लिए सारी मानवता के विकास के लिए इंसानियत की तरक्की के लिए काम करने का जज्बा उसने नौजवानों के अंदर पैदा किया है टू एक्सटेंड इट्स इन्विटेशन एंड रिमूव इन न्यूमरेबल मिसकनसेप्शंस इन ऑर्डर टू कन्वे द ट्रू मैसेज ऑफ इस्लाम टू द कॉमन पीपल जमात हैज बीन अ पायनियर इन ट्रांसलेटिंग द होली कुरान इनटू 17 अदर लैंग्वेजेस बिसाइड्स उर्दू हिंदी एंड इंग्लिश Apart from many of its other creative activities, Jamaat has emerged as a hub for publishing and distributing Islamic literature. कोई शख्स किसी भी ज़माने में पढ़ना चाहे, तो हम कहते हैं कि अल्लाह की किताब है तुम्हारे सामने। मुझे न देखो, इस किताब को देखो। Jamaat is always eager to provide legal help and other support to innocent victims and weaker sections of society. To do it in a better way. Jamaat encourages organizations like APCR the Association for Protection of Civil Rights along with lawyers and non-profit organizations that sympathize with them Jamaat coordinates and works with them in parallel With active contribution in every sphere of life Jamaat has been working tirelessly for the last 7 decades to spread the basic concept of islam and its true guidance trying to reach each and every individual to promote unity and brotherhood across religions jamaat constantly associates and interacts with religious heads of other faiths so that there is discussion and dialogue between various religious ideologies and tries to eradicate social evils and inculcate strong moral values through their collective effort Jamaat is committed to make people aware of the theoretical as well as practical knowledge about Islam To achieve this basic goal along with its reformation programs within the Muslim community Jamaat is also constantly engaged in spreading the divine message of the creator among fellow countrymen To do it effectively The volunteers of Jamaat establish one-to-one interaction with the brethren of other faith and convey the message of Islam by distributing literature, CDs, folders, and by organizing symposiums, seminars, and conferences at national and international level for this noble cause. Up to now, Jamaat Islami Hind has covered the whole world with Islam for everyone, Quran and Majid for everyone. हज़रत मोहम्मद सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम सब के लिए ऐसे सेंट्रल पॉइंट्स पर भी दावती मुहिम चलाई है फ्रॉम इट्स इंसेप्शन जमात इज कमिटेड टू मेक एजुकेशन एक्सेसिबल एंड कंपलसरी फॉर द माइनॉरिटीज रियलाइजिंग द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ गुड एजुकेशन एंड पर्टिकुलरली द एब्सेंस ऑफ मॉरल वैल्यूज इन एजुकेशन सिस्टम जमात फ्रॉम डे वन हैज टेकन दिस टास्क विद अटमोस्ट सीरियसनेस In the last 7 decades, Jamaat has established a significant number of colleges, schools, madrasas and technical institutes across the country and inspired many Muslims to establish educational institutes that can contribute in social and nation development. Not only that, Jamaat has also prepared a number of school textbooks in order to upgrade the academic standard of minority educational institutes apart from conducting regular teachers training camps jamaat has prepared syllabus at par with bed courses which is a boon for the students of madrasas saikron idare hain pure mulk ke andar usme dono baaton ki hum koshish karte hain ki duniya se bhi aadmi waqif ho jaye aur uske saath saath wo morally bhi is qabil ho behtar एक मसला अभी हमारे सामने है कि हमारा स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ एजुकेशन और बेहतर होना चाहिए तो वो स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ एजुकेशन की तरफ हमने अब इधर तवज्जो देनी शुरू की है और हम ए ग्रेड तक आए हमारे स्कूल इसके बारे में हमने एक प्लान बनाया है मीडिया बीइंग द मोस्ट इफेक्टिव टूल जमात फ्रॉम द वेरी बिगिनिंग 
acknowledged its potential to reach out to the maximum number of people. With tireless efforts and correct utilization of media, Jamaat has been able to carve out a niche for itself among millions of people. Today, around 40 magazines and newspapers in various languages, including few news portals, websites, news channels, media houses, are run by Jamaat that are widely respected by mainstream media. Jamaat ke media ka maqsad wo musulmano ka bedari hai. Thousands of members, volunteers and millions of supporters are the real driving force of Jamaat-e Islami Hind who uphold the sterling ideology of Islam. They are the torchbearers who started their struggle in April 1948 with a team of merely 240 volunteers. With their sustained support and hard work, Jamaat has emerged as one of the largest and most disciplined organizations of the country. After the remarkable guidance by a visionary like Maulana Abulais Islahi Nadvi, who was the first president of Jamaat-e Islami Hind, Jamaat has been fortunate enough to have different laureates as its leaders and presidents. Mentors like Maulana Muhammad Yusuf, Maulana Muhammad Sirajul Hassan, and Dr. Muhammad Abdul Haq Ansari, Jamaat continues on its path of excellence under the guidance of renowned Islamic scholar Maulana Sayyid Jalaluddin Umri. In its seven decades long journey, Jamaat has seen many ups and downs. It had to endure many trials and tribulations. There were times when Jamaat had to face the onslaught of antagonism from both friends and foes. In 1975, during the emergency, and again in 1992, after the demolition of Babri Masjid, Jamaat Islami Hind was banned without any valid reason and the government imposed severe restrictions on it. All the revered scholars and volunteers were incarcerated, yet the hardship did not deter them in their goal. They never accepted defeat and continued their journey on the path of truth with the same energy and commitment that it had started with. हम कानून की शराफत की हद में रहते हुए अच्छे अंदाज से खुदा का पैगाम मालिक का पैगाम हिंदुस्तान के तमाम लोगों के सामने पेश कर रहे हैं अल्लाह से दुआ करता हूं जिंदगी का सही नस्बुलैन और सही समत सफर का شعور मुसलमानों के अंदर पैदा हो जाए और वो न सिर्फ अपने बल्कि इस मुल्क के तमाम ही बरसंदों की खरहाई के लिए उठ खड़े हों जमात इस्लामी ने समझती कि ऐसा समाज जो नैतिकता पर आधारित हो और न्याय पर आधारित हो वो ईश्वरीय मार्गदर्शन के मुताबिक ही बन सकता है जो इस संदेश पर विश्वास रखते हैं यानी जो अपने आप को मुस्लिम कहते हैं वो इस संदेश के मुताबिक अपना व्यक्तिगत और सामाजिक जीवन बनाकर उसका एक नमूना लोगों के सामने पेश करें और इस संदेश को लोगों तक पहुंचाने का जो उनका दायित्व और जिम्मेदारी है उसको भी वो अदा करें Complete surrender to the Lord of the universe, to bow down only before Him in devotion, to abide by His commands, and to make every heart be ruled by His law, are the eternal values and principles that brought Jamaat Islami Hind into existence, and its journey to disseminate the same still continues. <laughs> ہماری طاقت ہماری توانائی ہماری قوت اللہ کے دین کے لیے ہو اور ہم جب خدا کے ہاتھ میں پہنچے اے اللہ جو تو نے دیا تھا ہم نے خالی کر دیا the moment in the hereafter the most pious of the souls 
would be dressed because they would be rewarded by none other than Almighty Allah, who will say, O oh, reassured soul, return to your Lord, well pleased and pleasing to Him, and enter among my righteous servants, and enter my paradise. You saw this introduction to jamaat e islami hind and its objectives. If you agree with our vision and believe that there is a need to build an ideal society. If you want peace and prosperity to prevail in the world, particularly in our country. If you desire that there should be an end to all atrocities, exploitation of the underprivileged and violence in the name of caste, creed, class and religion. If you want Indian society to be united, if you feel that the world has deviated from God and His guided path, then take this as a call of your conscience, of your inner being calling you to act. You must definitely be aspiring to lead a successful life in this world by winning the favor of the Almighty. Paradise can be your destiny in the hereafter. To be obedient to your God, your Creator, you must stand up and fulfill your responsibilities. jamaat e islam hind invites and welcomes you for fulfilling your aspirations. Let's join hands to work together in order to win the mercy of the Almighty Allah who controls our past, present and future. He is the one and only Almighty Allah who created me, you and all of us.